Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you real quickly how our media booth is set up for in-person service and then for our online live stream. So currently our media booth um, we use uh, for the soundboard we do use a Berger X32 board and then we do use an, an, a 2021 iMac or as a computer and that is the only computer we use and then also we use a uh, black magic atm um meaning um how things are routed i'm not going to go completely into details if you have questions please let me know and then maybe i'll explain a little bit more the sound comes from the x32 board using a printer cable that goes into the imac um, from the iMac that goes into Logic Pro. I do have a template in here that I use uh, from Logic Pro. So the, it comes, the input is the XUSB, which is the X32, and then it sends it out onto, into something called a black hole. Black hole 2CH, that's a, like a virtual sound card. It allows you to send sound to multiple places. Uh, once it, uh, Logic Pro sends the video to black hole i use that as an input for the pro presenter so if you take a look i have a microphone here uh, it coming from this microphone so then you can see that it gets signal it gets signal here coming here so this signal is coming to logic pro so if i go into logic pro here you see that channel so that's one of the microphones channel so that's this local microphone right here Okay, that's Logic Brothers vocal microphone right here. That's how the sound is kind of connected. And from there, it goes into a pro presenter. You, and then if you take a look, I do have a little delay on here so that the sound can match the video so that it's not out of sync. So the online people will see something like this and then the in-house service will see something like this. And what is right here is a stage screen. So we have an iPad on stage and this is what the ipad it shows on the ipad so if you want to have a, like a little candle if you can see that's like a countdown if you can focus here and then you can always um like show different messages on the ipad so then it will look something like this it's like a little message here and then um, from pro presenter um we send the stream but it goes into something called caster we use caster um i've not really been liking caster so far uh, because it's been um kind of lagging i don't know if it's our internet we increased our bandwidth and it's still lagging so but it is the most aff affordable option so um right now that's what we're just going to keep on using um because caster sometimes you the sound will be going but then the video will be glitchy um so if anybody has any ideas on how to maybe improve that please let me know in the comments and then i will try that and let you know what i find out so that's how i'll set up so pro presenter will send a stream to caster maybe i can actually do that real quickly and then you see what i mean if i do uh, start capture here um it's gonna go so we are starting the capture here you see that it says live okay and then if i go to caster it says waiting for stream so if you give it a second you will see that uh, it is broadcasting it see so that's what we have here the same thing that we have here okay now because i'm not i'm not toggled this on we will not be going live so now it just only shows this uh, the stream okay and then we'll stop that but yeah, that's what I wanted to kind of go through real quickly. So um, using Logic Pro and then Pro Presenter uh, along with uh, X32. I know there's different ways to get this set up uh, and I know there's things that I can do to improve this. But currently this is what we have right now and it is uh, uh, working fine. Then there's definitely areas of improvement that we have to do. So um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Or if you have, want me to do an extensive walkthrough on how to get all of these connected, Please let me know if I get maybe 10 comments on accent to um, go through these, I'll go through. If you would like me to do something specific, please let me know in the comments and then I'll create a walkthrough on how to get all these things done. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.